What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Very excited to introduce you guys to this plugin, the new amp locker by Audio Assault. This plugin is entirely free, completely free. You just go to the website, you download it, you install it, you open it up. This is what you get. The Prestige Worldwide 1959 with a bunch of other little things that we're going to go over in this video. Did I mention that it's free? All the sounds that you just heard at the start of this video were dialed in with this prestige amp and all the little things that come with this plugin. So to start things off, this is an amp locker. The name kind of reveals what it is. Basically, it holds a bunch of different amps, which you can see right here. We're not going to go over these in this video. They all get their separate video. We're going to look at the prestige. This is the amp that you get with the amp locker. When you open this up, you get the prestige worldwide 1959. You get a pedal section, which I'm using the hyperdrive and the 808 screams. This is obviously like some boss pedal and I think this one as well I'm not really sure then you have the cap section which does not only have 3d caps but also a bunch of built-in impulse responses like this is insane the amount of stuff that you're getting for free you can move these mics around as much as you want and you can set the distance the volume the pan the high pass low pass you can mix the two caps which I've done a little bit for this preset at the end here you have a reverb a delay there's also an EQ there's another compressor that you can put into it there's this parametric EQ that you can choose instead of this black compressor you can use the red compressor which is this this one and there's also a compressor over here the decomp and there's a tremolo of course and a wah pedal which I have not used in my presets yet obviously you got your regular tone and just like with all the other audio soul plugins there's also that stereo panner that's in there I really hope it's picking that up I'm not really sure Other than that, in your settings, you can just, you know, if a graphics engine, when you can always choose with audio assault. And then over here, we got our MIDI switch parameters. You can edit your MIDI in here. You have your tuner, which is the same tuner as with every audio assault plugin. Seems to be a little bit out of tune. You select your input here, just mono or mono to stereo. I've set it to, I've set it to mono to stereo because if I select my mono input, the widener doesn't do anything. And then as soon as I switch it back to mono to stereo, then it pans it out. So if you want to use that, you got to do mono to stereo. But yeah, I built a few presets in this amp and it sounds absolutely amazing. Like Again, as I said in the title of this video, this thing should not be free. It shouldn't be free, especially with everything that's on the amp market right now. As a beginner guitarist and you want to start playing at home, I used to say in all my videos, if you want to start recording at home, you want to start playing guitar at home without annoying anyone. All you gotta do is buy an interface and buy a good plugin. Now you don't even have to buy the plugin, you can just get this one for free. So I'll take you to the presets that I've built and what I've based them on. My Ever Rhythm preset. Now, I've seen a few videos talking about this plugin, and I hear a lot of people say that it doesn't really serve justice as a modern metal amp. It depends what you define by modern metal, but I think metalcore falls under that, so... I 
I think that works pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. It does gent a little bit. When you want to get that super juicy, genty tone, that's not going to come out of this one, sadly. Although, I have noticed if you crank up the tone on the pedals, like, all the way up, especially with this guitar, this has, like, really weird pickups that sound absolutely insane. Um... You can kind of get that 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 sort of wet spanky gen tone, but then it also introduces a bunch of noise, so we don't want that. All the presets I built in this amp are based on Gojira's tone, so this is the heavy rhythm, which sounds like this. Sounds pretty fucking sick. Um, it's not a complete replica of Gojira Stone, obviously. Um, I would need way more plugins to recreate that in detail. As a heavy rhythm tone goes, this is probably the best one that I could have gotten out of it. I did make another one which is more trash based, which is basically the same tone with more treble, less mid, and a bit more presence. Um... <laughs> So that's based on like a combination of old school metallic and Megadeth stuff like that. Uh, my own trash tone that I use for Red Nebula. Then I have this monster lead. I like to call it monster lead. This is based off of two things. This is based off the lead of Silvera by Gojira, but also, if you know it, the intro from Chan for Eschaton by Behemoth. <laughs> I really wanted to give it that like nasty creeping feeling, but the fun part is if you use it to play the solo for, for Silvera, it actually sounds pretty awesome as well. Doesn't sound exactly the same because Gojira uses, I think, another chorus on that tone as well. Which, I there is a chorus in this, but it's not really the one that you want for that kind of stuff. And then I made a clean, which is also based on two things. I did dial this tone in with my split coil activated. Just to keep that in mind, if you're not getting the exact tone as I am with this preset, it's because I'm using a split coil and you might not be using a split coil. Talking about using these stones, all of these stones will be available on my Patreon under the $1 tier. You can just download all of them right there. Um, but yeah, this was based on the intro to Flying Whales by Gojira. <laughs> And then also to um, Tosa Nabasi's tone that he uses for the selective picking um, from Animals as Leaders, if you don't know Tosin. <laughs> the way I did that is by adding a compressor and maxing it out <laughs> on the tone. Other than that, it's just a dry tone, so none of these are active. Cabs are the same as I use on the rhythm tone. Um, except with the mix all the way to the left. This tone is also really cool to play rockabilly, by the way. It has that that that, that funny little clang thing, rockabilly, psychobilly, whatever you want to do. It was like. But like a slap bass underneath and just go. 
a few times and you got yourself Psycho Billy hit. Yeah, those are the tones that I dialed in, which will be available on my Patreon. Besides that, there's nothing much else to say about this amp other than that it's absolutely free. Once again, it's free. The link is in the description. Go check it out. It's absolutely free. If you're a beginner guitar player and you're starting to record at home or even you just want something new in your arsenal of amp sims, which I know you have. I know you have like 10 amp sims sitting there that you're not using. Then just go download this one. It's absolutely free. I'm also going to demo all the other amps in this amp locker. So make sure to stay tuned for those if you want to see a review on those before you buy them because those are paid for. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this amp sim, go check it out. Grab it for free from the Audio Assault website. If you want to get some presets to get you started, my Patreon link is also in the description below if you want to check that out. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.